One down. Well, if you recall, a couple weeks ago I said, it smells like hunting season. Guess what today is? We're going dove hunting. All right, well, we made it out here to the farm. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna walk this path. I was out here yesterday. I'll bet no less than a hundred of them come out of these, just to show you, come out of these trees, and crossed over top of that small patch of corn. So we're gonna walk that back to the pond and see what we come up with. For now, I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro on my head. One down. Oh, sorry guys, my camera fell off my head. Two come in real nice. Three shots later, I got one. I just gotta find him. He should be right over here. Well guys, there you have it. That has taken me three days to get four doves. So I was only out for 20 minutes this time, got one. Uh, I'm not using any mojos, no decoys, nothing. Just walking and flushing and getting what flies by. I am finding out, uh, there is a lot of dove there. However, the minute you shoot the gun off, they don't come back. Anyway, I'm headed home with one to match the three more in the fridge. As you know, you only get a little piece of meat off them. I'll clean it up when I get home. I'll show you how I do that. Well, I called an audible on the way home. Stopped at one more spot. Within the first 30 feet of walking in, I jumped six, got one, had a jam, so I got one. If you're home, I'll show you how to clean two. I'll see you at home. So the neighbors kind of frown on you cleaning game in your front yard. I am using my truck. We thought I'd bring a deer home and hang it from the maple tree in the front yard. Okay guys, there's really not a lot to clean in these. You don't even have to pluck them. I take a few of the feathers off, just so I can see where I'm at and what I'm doing. All we're after is the breast meat. Peel the feathers back. There's the breast meat right there. Peel them all the way down to the bottom. I just like to cut it. Right along the breastbone. Cut straight down. There's one breast. Well, half of a breast. And do the same on the other side. And there's your other one. Second one, same thing. Just peel some of the feathers off the breast. This one's a lot bigger. And you see the breast there? Makes it a lot easier without the skin. This is the other way you can do it. So rather than use a knife, you stick your thumb in the bottom and you pull. And there you have a whole breast. Put your finger in the bottom. You're going to separate it from the breast bone. So there's one and there's the other one. So again, two ways to do it. You can either cut it off, you lose a little meat doing that way, or 
put your thumb underneath to the belly, lift it up and it comes right out. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna make some poppers. I'm gonna show you how to make these dove poppers. I've got two breasts, we cut them in half, so we got four pieces. I got four jalapenos. We're gonna take the jalapenos and cut them in half. Depending on how hot you like it, you either leave the seeds in or the seeds out. The seeds are what make it hot. So we're gonna take most of the seeds out. Couldn't have found a bigger knife. We got our peppers hollowed out. We got the Philadelphia light cheese. I must have been watching my weight. All right, guys, these are real simple. This isn't even my idea. This is Andrew Flair's. That's where I got this from. So I've got my four marinating dove breasts. Got my hollowed out jalapenos. Hollowed out jalapenos. I got my bacon to wrap it. Take your cream cheese, put it inside the popper. All right, we got our cream cheese and our poppers. These things were flying this morning. They're cooking this afternoon. You just lay them right on top of the popper. I wonder what they're marinating in. It's just Frank's powder. That's it. Now, you remember I cut up all my bacon for burgers and mix it in with the other meat? Normally, you want a whole slice of bacon. I've only got the partials, so... We're going to make do with that. Here we go. Ideally, I want that around 500 degrees, nice and hot, so it'll cook the bacon quicker. It's a little cold today. The best I can get is 400, so that'll have to do. All right, guys, I am running out of daylight real quick. One of the poppers is done. Three are just about done. I've never ate dove before. This one kind of fell apart. So what I've got, I got a green pepper, cream cheese, dove, and a piece of bacon. Never had dub before, let's find out. Wow. Sorry, mouthful. Wow. <laughs> Did I say wow? And yes, I'm gonna eat the other half of that. Excuse me. Oh my god. Why have I not eaten dove before? I'm going to get the rest of these off the barbecue. I'm going to polish them off. Ooh, looky there. Let's go eat. Hang on. Flying this morning. Would you say I got to be careful for that I'm going to break my teeth on? Steel shot. It's not really. Is it in there? No. Well, there might be. It's not Austin, trust me. Alright, well, here you go. If I break my teeth, I break my teeth. Still hot? Any good? You gotta go say it. All right, guys, well, there you have it. The Dove Poppers were a success. I cannot believe that in my 54 years, I have never had Dove until today. I've got another three or four in the freezer. We're gonna do those up a little different next time. But man, was that good. If you have not tried Dove, I know you see them flying around, hanging around your yards, and it's not, you're thinking, oh my God, I can't eat that. I used to think the same thing about catfish. Good buddy of mine, Tim Percy, brought catfish in one day. That's a whole other story, but Oh, that was delicious as well. Anyway, this is about the doves. You got to do it. Jalapeno peppers, cream cheese, dove, and bacon. Anyway, that is it. Folks, you all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button while you're here. The like button, the share button. I appreciate you all very much sticking around. And we'll see you all in the next one. Later. Later.